Ontario. <laughs> Sorry, Hank. This is high five, Hank. Hi, guys. Hello, and welcome back to the second channel, Josh and Babe Vlogs. Our first channel is called The Cooking Cop and Babe. This one is the RV this one. This is the RV one. So what you're gonna see in this video is Babe popping a golf cart tire, uh, me cooking a delicious porterhouse steak, oh, boy. some drone footage, Babe got me a drone. Laundry. Laundry. Life. Trailer park life. Packages. Packages. Cool. Amazon packages back there. Uh, where are they? Wait, did they fall off? Are you back there? Stay tuned. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We appreciate you guys watching and here's the RV Cop and Babe vlog. Let's go. I have to give a shout out to my buddy Kyle, who on a moment's notice after Babe blew out a tire, look at this, there's a freaking gaping hole in that tire. Cause I have no tools. Kyle came to save the day. He's gonna change your tire back to one of the old tires. We do need to find new tires though. I need to find a place that has new tires. Hey babe. Babe. Where are you? What are you doing? Babe, are you hiding in there because you're scared? Are you embarrassed that you blew out a tire? No, I'm embarrassed you couldn't change it. No, I could change it. I don't have the tools. I lit my father owned an auto shop and I worked at an auto shop for 10 years. That is embarrassing. Now, I know how to change a tire if I had the tools. I'm wondering yeah, but your dad always brought it there ready to go. was the man Brutus. on changing tires and you can't change it. Babe, who popped the tire? I don't know. You did. Is that high five, Hank? High five. <laughs> Look. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. That actually is awesome that as the driver you can pull the string. <laughs> yeah, like, I did it for the kids because it's funny when you pass by. And the kid, like, <laughs> you want to see Hank go? You want to see Hank go? Oh, his hands are the top. Yeah, I got to move. Hi, guys! <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You missed the skeleton! Yeah. Oh, do it again, do it again. Please, please. <laughs> normally, there's like a thing here so the hand actually pulls up normally. Oh, do it again. Please, like please, please, please. <laughs> You're just going on a little golf cart laundry ride? Yeah. Yeah? You gotta love the laundry. Okay, yeah. have fun. Uh-huh. You have fun too. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Love you. Love you. <laughs> oh, yeah, babe. Golf cart's very dirty. Yeah. Now you now you roped me into... Soon it'll be washed back. Yeah. Now you roped me into going to the laundry mat. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. Why aren't we in the pool, babe? I don't know. That's not nice. Is she taking a night-night? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why does this look like a barn? I like it. Yeah? And this is Babe folding laundry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Babe, just doing my job. Yeah. Pink job, blue job. I'm doing my pink job. <laughs> Good thing that Babe bought a forty-dollar laundry basket on Amazon today. Yeah, I needed a giant one. The, this this golf cart needs a, a bath. This is embarrassing. You got all your clean laundry, Babe. Yeah. Good job. It's a really nice day out today. And in other breaking news, Babe bought me a drone. So now. Cue epic drone montage footage of the trailer park. Drone video. Today's forecast, a lot of sunshine, blue skies, marine clouds. Just a perfect day to go outside and relax. That's your forecast. We'll be right back. Yeah, sunny day, sunny day, sunny day. drone that babe bought me it's a dji mini 2 4k camera got the sd card in the back only 249 grams so a lot of the licensing requirements and permits and stuff 
you're kind of avoiding it because it's so light and so little. For dinner tonight, I got two really nice porterhouse steaks. We're gonna do some baked potatoes, some vegetables and stuff like that. I think I'm going to do the porterhouse over Jealous Devil Charcoal and the Weber Kettle, but I'm gonna use the pellet grill to do the baked potatoes and the vegetables and stuff like that. What's your baked potato secret, babe? Um, a little bit of olive oil and you wrap it and cook it. For... What? It's my secret. <laughs> Just kidding. 350, 350 on the pellet grill? For like an hour and a half. An hour and a half. And you have to stab it. You gotta stab it. I usually put salt on them, but I'm actually too lazy to walk up to the TV and get the salt. <laughs> It's literally right there. How's your laundry coming? Still going. Still going? Nine hours later. Nine hours later? Babe, the tubes and the parts and the Home Depot bucket and the shoe basket. It's trailer life. It's starting to look like hardcore trailer life. Uh, we got a lot of leftover gel stevel. We're gonna be using the grill gun today to light it. It's basically a flamethrower. There's a link below for it. Really, really awesome tool, awesome company. I really, really like them and Babe's just babing. And let's light this charcoal. For $10 each? Are you kidding me? They're gonna be great. That that was really cool. Like two the porterhouse. Porterhouse. So that's a filet and that's a... Really? New, New York. Yeah, it's a New York and a filet. Do I mean, to cut that off or is it okay? I mean, I would probably trim. That's pretty fatty. Okay. But I mean, two porterhouses for 10 bucks each. That's pretty rocking. Yeah. And then I got babe this thing. Look, it was seven bucks. It's salmon on a cedar plank. I mean, salmon's gross, but it's on a cedar plank, I, I guess. It's delicious. So what are we using today, babe? We're using Heath or Isles. Heath, hit me up, brother. We're using Rick's Galindo's Texas barbecue rub. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Two porterhouses on charcoal, Jell's Devil. And All the other stuff is done on pellet. And I think it's gonna be good. Oh, it's gonna be good, babe. How's, how's your trailer doing, babe? It's good, I had to clean it today. The dog has peed in it 75 times. No, why? Because he needs to be neutered. You wanna cut off his dog balls? I hate to break it to you. Don't cut off his dog balls. Well, I'm sorry, it has oh. to Oh, you're doing the spicy carny? On the salmon? Yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh, it's gonna be a spicy salmon. Mm, what are you doing, babe? Oh. Okay, so I soaked it for like 15 minutes, the cedar plank. Yeah. And now I'm gonna put it on the grill and I'm gonna put a little olive oil on there. Okay. And see what happens. Okay, with TDs. Yeah. I think the secret to salmon and making it like butter is putting olive oil on it. Yeah. Every time I do it, it it's just like butter. And the gel stubble is getting warmed up to cook those porterhouses. 